In the matter of weeks, almost all of us had to change the way we live because of the coronavirus. We were asked to stand six feet apart from each other, adhere to stay at home orders, constantly wash our hands, and we have to remember not to touch our face. And all of these efforts are to help minimize the spread of the coronavirus to the masses. And now, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends that we all wear cloth face coverings when we're out in public. So the cloth mask and any mask appears to at least help reduce exposure. And, and since some of the, the data suggests that the amount of exposure of the viral load is, is important for severity. Now, people who are sewing homemade masks are including inserts for filters to help keep the airborne virus from spreading to other people. So what type of filter should you use? Researchers are testing just about every material they can think of. We have coffee filters we're testing. I mean, you name it. Uh, I mean, if, if you can get filter material that's labeled as filter material, and we're, and we're testing you know, vacuum cleaner bags, we're, we're, we're testing um, the anti-allergen pillowcases, uh, uh, you name it, we're, we're, we're trying to get some data. We really don't know what to recommend is the best fabric, but anything with a really tight weave. I know some of the people who are making homemade masks right now are recommending using the cloth uh, reusable shopping bags. So that those materials are um, have a tight weave to them. The main question you might have is how effective homemade masks really are. Homemade face masks, the effectiveness really depends on the materials that they're made from. And, and how tight of a seal there is around the face itself. You know, ideally they should seal the nose and mouth and have a fairly tight fit around the, the face. Um, the N95 masks are meant for airborne precautions, so much smaller particles, where us in the community should be concerned about droplet if they're larger sized particles. So we really don't need N95 masks to go to the grocery store, for example. So the, the homemade masks, um, I think, are a good alternative for people in the community. Now, if you don't have a cloth face mask, you can easily use a scarf, a bandana, or even a cotton t-shirt. Remember to make sure it tightly covers your nose and mouth. And when you return home, make sure you wash and dry your cloth and your face. <laughs>